Okay, uh, in the previous video, we were concerned with this problem. Find the number of ways that four persons, each rolling a single die, could have a total of 17. And after some manipulations, we determined that to solve that problem, what we need to do is, in this expression here, determine what the coefficient is of x to the 13th. And this is just written like this. And then, as we've done in previous videos, we wrote these out in terms of their respective binomial expansions, which gave us this. So now we have to multiply these two together. Now we multiply these two together. Of course, this is an infinite series. So if I multiply this times this, we're going to have a whole lot of x's. But we're only interested in x to the 13th. All the other x's we don't care about. So for here, when we, wrote it, when we start expanding this out, we said, well, this is equal to 1 minus 4 times x to the 6th plus x to the 12th. Then the next term would have x to the 18th. Well, that's beyond x to the 13th, so we don't even care about that. So from this one here, the only terms we're interested in is these. Then we're multiplying it by this infinite series. But we're only interested now in situations where an x from here times an x from there, where their exponents add up to 13. So for example, 1 times x to the 13th would be x to the 13th. So i equals 13. This binomial coefficient is c16 over c13. Here we have x to the 6th. Multiply that by x to the 7th, and that will give us x to the 13th. That binomial coefficient, then, i is 7, so that's 10. So we have this. And then finally, this, x to the 12th, if I just multiply that by x to the first, that gives us x to the 13th. So here then, i equals 1. That's just going to be a binomial coefficient of 4 over 1. And of course, this is just 4. So let's write that in. OK, so to get our x to the 13th, what are we doing? It's this times this, and that just gives us simply c16, 13. Then this times this, so that's minus 4, c10, 7, plus this times this gives us x to the 13th. That is a coefficient of 24. So here then, doing these manipulations will finally give us our coefficient of x to the 13th. So let's just make some room. And hopefully, in no time flat, we'll have our answer. What we're doing here, by the way, hopefully it doesn't seem too tedious for you, but these are the um, typically the type of manipulations that you have to perform uh, when you're working with generating functions. But it's well worth the while, because you can solve problems that without using the generating function approach, they would seem just hopelessly complicated. OK, we have this, c1613 minus 4 c107 plus 24. So we can get rid of this. And go back up to the top of the page. OK, so we have to determine what is this number here. So here we have 16 factorial. divided by 
13 factorial. We'll try to write it bigger. 16 factorial divided by 13 factorial times 3 factorial minus 4 times 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 7 factorial plus 24. Okay, so let's see what this is. Here we have, try to make some room, 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 factorial divided by 13 factorial, and this is 6, 3 times 2 times 1. So this cancels, and this will go into there five times. Two will go into 14 seven times. So let's see, we have 16 times five, and then we have that times seven. Um, let's see, 16 times 5, 0, carrier 3, 5 times 1 is 5, and 3 is 8, times 7 is 560. So this is 560. So let's get rid of this stuff. That's 560, and what do we have from here? We have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1. Those cancel. That goes into there three times and this goes into there four times so we have four times three is twelve times two hundred and twenty minus that's four that's minus four hundred eighty plus twenty four so let's see what we have. We have 584 minus 480, that is 104. So finally, hope it didn't take too long to get there, but the answer then is the number of ways four persons, each rather a single die, and the number of ways you can do that had the number 17 come up when you add up the possibilities, that's 104 ways. So that's it. Um, finally, that's the answer. So as you can see, working with generating functions, you have to be patient and take your time because you might make a, um, a silly uh, mistake and multiplication along the way. We've tried to show you what some of the techniques are involved and finally there's our answer. You have four people, each throwing a single die, you look what the numbers are, add them up. How many different ways can you have it and have the numbers add up to 17 and that answer is 104. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, come back, join us for the next video and we'll try and solve some more problems.